Hello everyone, this is Danish from jobscreenshare.org. So we are going to start some of the, you know, uh, our training on virtualization. So before that, you need to understand, uh, you know, how virtualization uh, usually affect our business and how do we uh, do things. So now this is a lab environment. Of course, servers are not like this in a real world environment. They have racks. But here, since this is a lab environment, we want to take it off quickly open it up, change the RAM for teaching purposes. So you see these are RAMs out there. And this server is a HP and it's an AMD CPU and it's installed as a 24 core server. So it's a pretty powerful server. Usually uh, 24 core servers are kind of used for virtualization or maybe you need it for something really uh, intensive like SQL server, you know, you may want to need it for that. But virtualization is like this. You have a physical device with a lot of cores like CPUs and a lot of RAM and what you do is you install it and then you can virtualize two ways one is specifically it's like a hypervisor it's a special operating system you install it inside the the server through USB or or uh, or CD DVD and then that operating system directly interact with CPU RAM and then when you install something on it let's say operating system another virtual operating system like Windows 10 or or server 2018 uh, sorry 19 or 12 or whatever right so it separate that virtual environment from the other one so see if it has this much RAM let's say is a 256 GB RAM so you can assign that little bit of RAM, little bit of CPU, little bit of storage to that operating system. So think of this like this area like a virtual server. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now that's just an example. This is actually not how it works. This is these are fans right here. But for this to understand you need to actually watch things but you also need to understand where the virtualizations are coming from. Usually it's a hardware, it's one server like this, or it could be multiple servers. Then multiple servers are managed by one portal. So usually that is kind of the main purpose because now you have all of these servers with so much RAM and so much space and everything. And if one virtual machine goes down here, automatically it will move up to the second server, third server, fourth server. Back in the days we didn't have anything like this and that's why IT was a little hard for people to understand and it was a lot uh, it was more of a physical job i would say because you had to play around with these big hardwares remove things and if things goes down you need to have a duplicate uh, another uh, backup for it and yeah it was a lot of hardware so people move away from that they came with this nice cool technologies like virtualization vmware is the top one then um, microsoft there are citrix uh, you know uh, other ones like open source like uh, proxmox uh, um, virtue something like that there's so many virtualization uh, you know Nutanix there's so many out there that you can install and then you can use it but since we're training ourselves for help desk positions the only thing that they require is that do you know what is host host is a hardware right here do you know how to install a virtual um, uh, machine on this hardware can you manage it can you take a snapshot of it if I tell you I'm a uh, I'm a sysadmin and I need your help with to get into the VMware and turn on that machine can you do that these are something that now companies are looking for for the help desk position so this is our part one project where I am going to basically uh, show you guys how we can convert this server into a, a monster like a virtual uh, you know we can put a lot of virtual machines on there so this server specifically we are going to use a windows operating system so we, i'm going to teach you two things first one this is a host i'm going to put a, a windows operating system on it server 2012 r2 we're going to install the whole operating system on this whole uh, host so it's then inside that operating system we're going to use Hyper-V option which is now inside the operating system. So that's one type of uh, virtualization. Another type would be me installing, I'm going to get another server and I'm going to install VMware. Meaning I'm going to install in a, a hypervisor type of operating system on it now and then that will do the virtualization. So I will show you two methods and that way you will have a very clear idea of how virtualizations are being utilized. Usually it's in a companies. 
people use pick one and they don't use two together but there are scenarios where one may not have a feature so they will install like Hyper-V on the operating system and then they will have something like VMware which that machine is running a VMware as you can see so we're going to do that in on these all these servers again this is a project so it's going to be rough type I'm gonna be like moving around things here and there it may get boring at some point so you gotta uh, you know be patient with this and if you have any questions make sure you put comments and let us know what you think and after this you're gonna get access to the VMware environment uh, online when we do the training because now you don't need to know about the physical part physical part is done is done once and usually these are the people like sysadmins network engineers or virtual uh, you know VMware system administrators of if they hire people specifically for that they're going to be taking care of this whole changing things and everything CPU and all that that's a little advanced stuff so then you need to just manage the virtual machine part where they're going to give you access through the web browser give you the username and password which we're going to do and you're going to just do that part you don't need to stress too much about it because if you really want to get into it then later on you can decide if you want to become a, a vmware system administrator or you want to get into this this career virtual side of the career uh, you know and then you want to be you know uh, going towards that route so this is the part one video i'll see you in the next video let's configure this monster right here and put 2012 server on it put all that memory in there and then do everything from that operating system let's do that part one i'll see you in part two